Sister wives Christine Brown defends continuing to post on social media after Garrison's death Sister wives star Christine Brown is addressing her decision to continue to post on social media following Garrison Brown's tragic passing earlier this month on Wednesday, the reality star shared an emotional video on Instagram, in which she explained why she's still posting on Instagram only two weeks after Garrison's death. Garrison the son of Cody Brown and Christine's former sister wife, Janelle Brown, was found dead in his home on March 5 in Flagstaff, Arizona after an apparent suicide. He was 25 years old it's been two weeks since Garrison's death. That's never easier to say, a Christine began, appearing to be a little emotional. I have to keep working because it's what I understand, it's what I know. It's what I know I need to do, she continued. For me, working means some of the time posting on social media. Those of you that have understood that it's just what I have to do to keep moving forward, thank you so much. It's a terrible thing to lose your son. Terrible, Christine added. We're going to miss him all the time, every single day for the rest of our lives, so we've got to just keep moving forward, cause otherwise I would just want to stay in bed all day while the TLC star didn't say outright that she's received criticism over posting, she again reiterated that working for her requires posting on social media, and thank those who understand that. Christine concluded her post by expressing her gratitude to those who have shared their support following Garrison's death all of the love and support that we have received from people means so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, she said, adding, please, start reaching out to people that you love and let them know. If you feel like calling somebody you've got to call them. Just reach out and continue doing it. Thank you so much. In the post's caption, Christine included the hashtags, Grieving gotta keep going thank you miss him so much. According to TMZ, the Flagstaff Police Department responded to a report of a death on March 5, finding Garrison dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. No foul play is suspected. According to the FPD, Garrison was found by his brother Gabriel. I in the weeks since his death, Garrison's family and friends been mourning their loss on social media. Just a few days after news broke of his passing, Christine shared a sweet video of Garrison building a flowerbed with her daughter, Truly. Garrison was a wonderful, caring brother who understood Truly's need for a hobby and built her a flowerbed. We'll miss him forever, Christine captioned the time-lapse video, adding the hashtags, gratitude miss you love you telthosio alevathadio alevathem. On March 5th, Janelle confirmed her son's death on social media with a post echoed on Cody's page. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown, they wrote. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. Garrison's final Instagram post, dated February 28, introduced the newest addition to his family, a cat he named Ms. Buttons. She's nine years old and was on the euthanasia but my savior complex couldn't suffice, Garrison captioned a pic of him with the cat. Garrison enlisted with the Nevada National Guard in 2015 at 17 years old, graduating from basic training the following year. He'd wanted to join the army, but Cody urged him to complete school first. During the pandemic, Garrison moved into his own home. In addition to his friends and family sharing tributes, TLC released a statement after his passing that read, We are devastated to hear of the tragic loss of Garrison Brown. We extend our deepest sympathies and heartfelt condolences to the Brown family at this difficult time.